Hey guys, welcome to what, as the title pretty much states, my belated by a week Black Friday haul. And first of all, this is nothing really new for me uh, because I've done belated Black Friday hauls uh, videos before, but I've never done them by a week, maybe a couple of days, but not by a week. Uh, but yeah, this is about over a week since Black Friday occurred and the main haul that a lot of people like to talk about is the new movies and games and other things they may have gotten and uh, for me like anybody else I did take the opportunity this past Friday to get some of the movies and stuff that I've kind of had my eye on and, and everything um, I decided to take the opportunity that was presented still and purchase some of these movies. Now, now, um, first of all, for some of you that may be wondering how I was able to do that, for anybody that works in retail, honestly, anybody that works in retail, like with a, um, like for a, a Target, or a Kmart, or a Kohl's, or a Walmart, or wherever, a Best Buy, you name it. Uh, one of the things that these stores are known for doing is putting out various display boxes or, or something like that, display shelves, display boxes that you know they can break down when the event when the event is done or when they're told to do it, um, and basically use them to sell movies and games at half or more than half of the original price. And most times, a lot of places like where I work will keep one or two or several of them up for the next few days. And then as that time goes on, they break it down to maybe one or two uh, displays. And then they kind of combine them together into one, one area, either by putting the two uh, displays together back to back or the four three displays whatever's remaining back to back side by side or they utilize one big display box um, four way or yeah four way or six way whatever you want to call it six sided uh, display case a display box if you will to sell to finish off selling out or selling off I should say whatever movies they have at there that are still listed at the Black Friday price. So that's a, so that's basically what happened this past week. I went back to work uh, on Monday uh, last Monday. It still had the display thing there. And by still having the display box there, I decided to take advantage of it and basically ensure, ensure, if you will, that I was able to get some of the movies and stuff that I wanted to get. Um, I also got some additional stuff as well on Friday, but like I said, when I, but like I was, but like I said, but like I was saying, because I'm sure a lot of you are wondering, well, what do you mean by ensure, Brian? What I did is I took some of the movies and movies and stuff that I wanted, and I went and hid them in a Pacific area that was that uh, I basically hid them under uh, one of these metal beams that we have in one of our sections of the store that sell household items. So I was able to do that, and by doing that, like I said, I was able to do that. And by doing that, um, I was able to retrieve them later on and purchase them for, you know, what they what they were listed as listed as still from Black Friday. Um, and the way I would make, and the way I was able to get them is, like I said, I hid them under one of the steel beams where where we have some household houseware stuff displayed. And I would check every day, I would check every day 
to um, make sure that they were still there because sometimes overnights will clean up certain areas, they'll clean up under the beams and if they find anything there that shouldn't be there, they'll take it out and put it back in its proper place. So, long story short, I was able to get the items that, so like I said, long story short, my items were still there, I was able to retrieve them and purchase them. Um, and like I said, they're not the only ones that I purchased. They're not. They're not the only ones that I, I purchased. I also purchased some other stuff on Friday, but even before then I purchased some items that on non-Black Friday, some of them have to do with a certain 90th birthday that's being celebrated courtesy of Disney. So, you know, that's, uh, I was able to, uh, I was able to get things like that related to that, as well as some other stuff as well. So without further ado, I'm going to show you some of the non-Black Friday stuff I got first. Some of the non-Black Friday stuff I got first. And that's my dog, she's flying up. I don't know, I think she's just, uh, I think she sees the tripod and she's kind of scared by it because she bumped into it. I let her go to the restroom before this, so I don't know if she has to go again or, or anything, but I think it's just because she bumped into my tripod here, she's a little uh, scared of it, a little, a little intimidated. And she might be hearing some things outside because animals can hear things we don't, so... There might be something outside that she's hearing that's kind of upsetting her. Um, anyway, but like I said, let me uh, give you an, uh, let me kind of show you exactly what I got that's non-Black Friday related. So, first of all, we're going to go with this. This uh, was purchased about a week ago or two. I do have Sunset, but what was funny is when I tried to get Applejack here, when I got Sunset, Applejack was sold out. And what's funny is even before then, even before I started to finally get these, because they, these were the most, from what I understand, these are the most, these were the more hyped ones, because I guess they felt more identical. They had a new, like, anime uh, design of the pony form there that was a, a selling point. But like I said, while I was considering getting these, every time I would check, Applejack would be there, but Sunset wouldn't, because they sold out of Sunset. So when I finally saw that they had Sunset, I got her, but they were out of Applejack. So I waited, and finally they got Applejack in, so I got Applejack. So now I have both Sunset and Applejack. And I, like I said, I think what's selling it is these are the newer versions. These are like the new improved versions that I guess a more identical to the friendship is magic count to the friendship is magic counterparts and uh, of course you got the pencil drawing the kind of artistic pencil anime drawing style of the of the main of the main six uh versions or counterparts uh that the that the supposed to be the counterpart two and uh, what's funny is I think this is also kind of getting people ready for those new Bushido, Bushido-like uh, statues they're bringing out, where you have like the Equestria Girl version of the character right next to the main six kit, right, right next to the Friendship is Magic version. So that ought to be pretty co cool to see, those uh, Bushido, Bushidos, I think they're called, statues. Can't wait to try to get my hands on one of those down the line, but... Yeah, I was finally able to get Applejack. I just need to get the other five and I'll have those complete. And then I got this courtesy of Amazon.com and uh, Loot, Loot Cave, I think, was the ones that were selling it. Yeah, it is a little dented, but I can probably fix that. But Loot Cave was selling this. And it's basically... The San Diego, San Diego Comic-Con 2018 exclusive to help celebrate the 35th anniversary of My Little Pony. And these are just remolds of some of the established figures. Uh, they're remolded basically to have an 80s-like style theme to them, like what you see on the back here. 
So you have so you have Pinky here, you have Twilight, and you have Rainbow. And yes, this is a little pushed in, but I could probably push it out once I probably do a review on this down the line. But yeah, basically it's in the form of a boom box of a boom box boom box cassette player. And if I do it correctly, I might be able to display it on the wall down the line. So we'll just have to wait and see. But it's really, but I was, when I saw this, I was like, I, when I saw that, that someone was selling this, especially through the Amazon Prime partnership, I knew I just had to get it, and I finally did. Heck, even before that, when they were talking about it um, at San Diego, about talked to, when they were talking about it being a San Diego Comic Con exclusive, I wanted to try to get my hands on it. The one thing that I was curious about, I even asked myself this now, is why didn't they just add this as part of the San Diego Comic Con Hasbro partnership that they were doing earlier this year during the convention? This would because you know honestly, this was sold in a big, big way. So I did get that. And then, um, as of Friday as well, when I did my Black Friday haul, I got these. These are known as the Silly Faces. These are known as the Silly Faces. These came out uh, this year, because they say 2017 on the back. But they actually came out, um, I think if I can focus that in for you a little bit. Where is the 2017? Yeah, it says it right there. It says 2017, right there. So yeah, you know. But yeah, these just came out. These are actually pretty new because uh, the way they're done is they're called silly face or silly lookies. Silly faces, silly looks. And what you do is you squeeze, the, you press the button where the Q mark is, and you get an animated expression coming out of them, which I think is kind of cool. And right now, according to this, the only ones they have are Pinky and Rainbow Dash, because if you watch the show, they're the ones that probably put up the most silly faces. So we haven't seen the other ones yet, but I'm pretty sure they'll find a way to do expressionary versions of them. All I can wonder how they're going to, if they continue this trend with the other main six, uh, or main seven, if you add Starlight to that, and even Spike, um, how they will portray them, like, expression-wise. And then, of course, we have Rainbow Dash, which was the other one, so they did have both. So we have Rainbow Dash here, which I think pretty cool and it's always and I think it's based on one of the some some of the scenes where she kind of wags out her tongue a little bit or sticks her tongue out a little bit or whatever she's known to do that and of course she comes with tank her pet and the other one with pinky came with a I think a dessert but yeah this is pretty cool to to have as a collector's item that's pretty cool and then Pinky, I think, yeah, Pinky came with a, a cake. Yeah, it includes pony figure and cupcakes. So she came with a a cake. It's kind of like, a, I guess, a stamp or something. Oh, actually, you press it down, it's supposed to go up or something like that, so. But yeah, she comes with a, a cupcake, if you will. And then, like I said, Rainbow Dash comes with her pet tank. So that's pretty cool. And then I ended up getting these because we, I'm sure a lot of stores had this display because of the 90th birthday celebration. So we had a big Mickey, well it wasn't a big Mickey, but it was basically a decent sized Mickey, Mickey Mouse 90th display box or display, or display case or box, whatever you want to call it, or shelf. Um, in the toy aisle and on one side you had small plushies of every interpretation of Mickey throughout the decades in the past century as well as on the other side you had every interpretation you had all these like little LOL uh, Mickey style uh, things they were selling 
And then in the middle, in fact, let me see if I can find that. Hold on for a second. Let me see if I can grab that. Sorry about that guys, had, I decided instead of getting pulling it down and making another mess, I'll show you basically what it is. I also ended up getting this, it's uh, right here, it's not the top one, but it's the bottom one. I also ended up getting that, that is the Disney collectible figure set, Mickey the True Original, and it has all interpretations of Mickey, well most of the interpretations from Steamboat, to Sorcerer's Apprentice, to the Mickey that you get on Mickey Mouse Clubhouse, to the Mickey nowadays that we, to one of the established modern Mickeys, and then of course the Mickey of the classic, of the new Mickey Mouse uh, cartoon series or shorts that's on Disney Channel. So I ended up getting that. And then, and that that right there and that figurine that figurine set there was like right in the middle it's like you got to have like your little side displays and then right in the middle you have your big you have sort of like your selling point and that was one of the main selling points with the collectible uh, figurine set but then like i said on i believe it was the right side of the display they had the plushies and all that so I decided to go and get some, some of them. I couldn't get all of them, honestly, because of the fact that they were selling. And a lot of people who are Disney fans got them for collectibles themselves and got them for the kids. So, of course, the ones I ended up getting that were in the display area were Steam was the Steamboat Mickey version. So we got Steamboat Mickey, which is pretty cool got Sorcerer Apprentice Mickey, which is pretty nice as well. Pretty cool. Got Sorcerer Apprentice Mickey, that's pretty cool. Got Mickey Mouse Club, original Mickey Mouse Club Mickey, which is really nice. It's pretty cool there. And then of course got the Mickey Mouse that uh, we kind of see nowadays a little bit. Um, in the animated shorts, which is kind of a representation when they started to go more into the when they started to go into color, and, but they still, and it's also kind of a representation of how Mickey looked when they still went into color as well. But it's kind of more based on a hybrid of both. So there you go, kind of more like the uh, newer ones, if you will. So I ended up getting those, but they weren't the only ones. And like I said. The Mickey that we know, the Martin Mickey, as Walt said, uh, as Walt would call him, basically the Mickey that he wanted drawn from now on. The only version I could get was going into one of the toy section areas for the younger kids. And this was the closest one I got. This is the, of course, uh, Mickey Mouse Club version, because like I said, they sold out of the other one. And this is, of course, like I said, the closest you're going to get. I think, this, the, I think the Mickey 90th anniversary one was basically the same thing. It's just this one's more of the, um, more of the uh, Mickey, Mouse Club, Mickey Mouse Clubhouse one. So, But it's the closest you're going to get, if you will. So that's pretty cool. So I got that. But of course... 
you can't have Mickey without his main squeeze, right? Um, so as some of you know, I do have, throughout the years when I lived in Kansas and all that, I bought, I started, that's when I started to really start, that's when I kind of began my plush, my plush collection, if you will, my plushie collection. And I would collect all kinds of plushies from classic shows and characters to movies and stuff. Um, and many was one of the ones I started collecting. As a matter of fact, um, I have various mini plushes um, stored away and stuff. And that was my dog. She just, she's okay. She's just scratching herself. I have to give her a bath later, I think. Um, anyway. Anyway, like I said, I ended up getting some, some, some plushies. Some of them, of course, like I said, were mini, plush, mini mouse plushies um, as well. And I decided, well, if I'm going to get Mickey, I might as well get Minnie as well. And that's what I did. So I ended up getting this version of Minnie. They had two versions of Minnie. I think the other one was based on Mickey Mouse and Mickey, the Racers cartoon that they're doing. But I decided to not go with that one. I decided to go with the one that's more like, okay, this, I could believe, passed for like an 80s interpretation of Minnie. Because remember back then, the late 80s, early 90s, they started to push her, that's the pushing her now. So, ended up getting a mini to go along with Mickey. So, like I said, you can't have Mickey without, uh, without mini. So, I ended up getting that. And, and that's one thing I will criticize um, Disney about. Disney and the toy distributor with these plushies. That's one thing I will criticize them about. If you're going to do these interpretations of Mickey throughout his 90 years, why couldn't you add Minnie to that as well? Why couldn't you counter that by having a 90 years of Minnie display to go along with that? I know I've been a little bit more for people to buy, but hey, it would have been something. I think something worth getting because you have different interpretations of them throughout the generations. But then speaking of Mickey, this was for $25.00. Um, and I ended up getting it. This is Mickey, the true original, special edition plushes of Mickey Mouse. Look at that. And like I said, I got this because right now these are selling. So I got this as best I could. And on the back, it kind of tells you which versions of Mickey you have on here. So you have Steamboat. You have... The eye Mickey, so that's basically the one right there. The one I was telling you about, this one. Right here is the eye Mickey that they kind of brought back for the uh, classic cartoons. You have Brave Little Taylor, which was nominated for an Academy Award, which is this, this one right here. You have Sorcerer's Apprentice Mickey, which is right here. You have Steamboat Willie Mickey, which is right over here. And of course you have Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. House, or no, well, that's what the new one's called anyway. But the original Mickey Mouse Club Mickey uh, right there. So really nice. It cost about 25 but you know what? The way these are selling... 90 years of magic, I really like that. You would expect something like this to be at the Disney store, which I'm pretty sure there's an endless supply of them there. But I was just happy to get it the way I did. And I like how it's all like designed and everything with the various Mickey, with Mickey on the, the various Mickeys on the side. And then of course the info on the back of the other Mickeys, so. If they have these again, I might even consider getting one for fa some of my families for Christmas, but who knows. But yeah, got both, uh, got that one. So that's pretty cool. And now, now, basically about, what is it? Almost, so now about 24, 30, 24 minutes and 40 seconds in, we can now talk about the other Black Friday, the Black Friday haul that I did obtain at a lower price. Basically what I got cheaper than what it originally, it didn't originally goes for. So, what did I get? 
Well, I'm going to start out with probably the biggest surprise for me, because usually, I can find it, oh, geez, well, there go some of these. <laughs> that wasn't fun. Hold on. Okay, just making sure nothing else fell or went under the couch. Because these things can slip and slide, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, like I was saying, I want to start out with probably the biggest surprise that I got. Because usually when uh, we leave out these uh, cases, or like I said, these display boxes, um, usually when we leave out these display boxes at times, People will rummage through them and see what they can find that they feel they can per they feel is good that they can purchase. And sometimes they'll just take stuff and just put it on top, stack it on top of each other, just make a big old mess. And the people around the area and the workers that are around the area, around that area, if they got time, have to basically reorganize and clean it up. Well, like I said, mostly what we had in that area were movies, or so you would think. Because the day I got back there, I noticed something that was not supposed to be there, but was there, and was still at the Black Friday price. This. WWE 2K19. And yes, it is the real game. Just so you guys know. It's the real deal. And usually this goes for about $59.95. I got it. $30 less days after Black Friday. Why? Because if you, anybody knows about Black Friday stuff, especially movies and games, and when it comes to them being displayed into the, you know, when it comes to them being displayed um, in these cardboard boxes or whatever, usually the cardboard boxes have some kind of, uh, some kind of sign or Color coronization, color, coronization, easy for me to say. Color coronated, coronated, yeah. They usually have some kind of color coronization of how much a certain item is. So if an item has like the color blue, then it's for, let's say, $15 less than what it originally is. Or if something has the color orange, it's $5 less. You kind of get the idea. Well, this had a purple circle on it, and that meant it went for twenty nine ninety five. Now, back in back in the, now last year when this happened, I had to pay full price because I tried to get the game, or I thought I was getting the game at the cheap price, but I didn't. This year I did because someone didn't. Someone missed this one, and it's like God said, hey, this one's meant for you, Brian. And it was right there for me to get. So I ended up getting it, and thank you, Lord, uh, for doing that. And I was all ready and stuff to probably accept the fact that when I got it, it was probably full price, because it had been about a week. Nope, it went for $29.95, because again, like I said, no one cared to double check if there was any games there in that display that did not get sold because usually when it comes to the games they have to take those out immediately and re-establish them at regular price they didn't catch this one so thank you god thank you lord uh for allowing me to get this but at the price i did which was 30 dollars cheaper than its average price its regular price so yeah i ended up getting uh i ended up getting wwe 2k 19 and I am currently working on rebuilding my DCWA which is my CAW Creative Wrestling League uh, roster men and women um, as we speak Speaking of games though There was one I got that was not Black Friday sale, but it would have been a surprise who it was and that was the Digital code and that was the digital uh, card a digital, yeah, digital card for Mario Kart Deluxe 8. 
And I've been wanting to get this game for a while. I've been wanting to get a secondary switch, a second Switch game um, in my collection. I just never had a chance. So when I finally did, so when I finally had the extra money to kind of splurge a little bit on myself before focusing on the Christmas stuff, I was able to, like I said, get Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. And the way this works, I think is kind of ingenious because what they do is when you purchase the card, instead of having instead of having to scratch something on the back to get the code, like you would have to scratch something on the back to get the code, instead they give you the instructions. I don't know if you can read that there, but they give you the instructions to basically they're basically telling you hold on to your receipt when you purchase this because you're going to need it because it's going to have the code for your activation or it's going to have your activation code to you know get the game so what you do is you end up keeping your receipt you go to a place like you go to Nintendo eShop you use the activation code to redeem your game that you bought so basically that's so basically it makes you want to keep your receipt instead of throwing it out because you're going to need it to purchase your game right then and there unless of course you're on the road and you're near a Wi-Fi spot and then you can do it like that. But yeah, I ended up getting Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. And then for my mom, I ended up getting her this. And then of course she kind of tells me, oh I DVR'd it. I ended up getting her this movie which was Christmas in Graceland. They kind of advertised this movie uh, during the um, what was it? What was they? What were they advertising it to during? Oh yeah, they were advertising it during Christmas at Rockefeller Center. That Kelly Prickler was in this movie, and my mom DVR'd it, so now she can probably take the DVR off and finally have it to watch when she wants to. Now we're going to get into the, some of the Black Friday stuff here, um, if we can. And speaking of Christmas, I'm gonna to try to get I guess to try to get these all together here. I got some Christmas movies, of course. These went for about eight ninety six to nine ninety six. I thought they'd be a lot cheaper, but I guess at Christmas they gotta be at a regular Blu-ray or DVD price, which is like fourteen ninety six, fifteen dollars, especially for movies that have been, especially for movies that are like over twenty five years old or something. So I ended up getting both. Uh, the Santa Claus, the original movie, and the Santa Claus 2, the 10th anniversary edition on Blu-ray. They didn't have the Santa Claus 3, which my mom was wondering about. She said, didn't they have the Santa Claus 3? No, but she ended up uh, DVRing it, which I'll probably have to restore later. Uh, but yeah, oh, which I will restore later, I should say. But, I, but yeah, I do have the first two uh, films on Blu-ray, so that's pretty cool to have um, in the possession, in, in our family's possession finally, because it is a good film series. And we do have, I think, the complete Santa Claus set on DVD. I just gotta find that. And then, speaking of Blu-rays, ended up getting a couple here. Just wanna make sure I got everything. Well, before I get into the Blu-rays, I will say I have this now one thing about like I said about the whole movies being put in these promo they're basically called they're basically called promotional displays of display boxes that's what they're called promotional display boxes and the way I know this is because I went on the Walmart app and they allow you to scan the UPC code to see how much something is and in our case also see what aisle it's located in you know, at the, at the store that's close to you, at the store you go to the most. So, what's funny is you were able to also, what's funny is you were also able to use the Walmart app to scan the UPC codes that were used for Black Friday. So they kind of gave you an idea. So it would tell you, not, well basically it would tell you, hey, this, go, this is going for this price right now, you might want to take advantage, right? So, so basically, long story short, normally what would be like 30 bucks 
in this case, this, Riverdale, the second season, the complete second season, what would originally be 30 bucks, actually turned out to be 9.96. So originally this is like 29.96. When I scanned the UPC code for Black Friday, the one they had above this, because they create UPC codes to go above this, it said 996 and what's funny is when I would go on the Walmart app and do that it would have a word on there that would say code black I'm not joking not being offensive or anything but that's what it would say it would say code black back on these movies because that would be because basically online wise that meant Black Friday so anyway I ended up because of that, I ended up getting for basically about $20 less than its average price, according to the Walmart app, Riverdale, the complete second season. So, really happy to have that. So, I now have both seasons of Riverdale. Now, I'm going to make sure, like I said, I got everything here. Next up, and I'm checking my time here. Next up, we have some of the Blu rays I ended up getting, besides the Santa Claus ones. With the Santa Claus ones and these, that's like, five, uh, that's like six Blu rays. Actually, more than that, because first up, we have, uh, I didn't even notice this, this is a little crack, but I can probably fix that in the future. Uh, we have Star Trek The Next Generation motion picture collection yes we have the star trek next generation motion picture direction a motion picture collection i should say <laughs> uh, so on here we have star trek generation star trek first contact star trek insurrection and star trek nemesis so yeah we have the star trek next generation movie collection right here and you can see on the back what I'm talking about. And I got this for $9.96. And this actually goes for about, I think, $5 more. $5 to $6 more than its original price. So, than what it was priced for. So, originally, this is like at $14.96 to $17.96. I got it for about $9.96. So, that's pretty cool. The same could be said... For Rambo, the um, complete collection set, or so is, or so it is as of right now, because there is another Rambo in the works. And again, just like with Star Trek's, the Star Trek Next Generation movie collection, got this for essentially six, five to six dollars, six, uh, five to seven dollars less than its original price. So. Pretty cool, We're getting Rambo on there as well. And then, ended up getting this for about, I would say, I would say about five, I would say about six, seven dollars less than its price. Ended up getting a Rampage. It's originally at, um, I think it's originally listed now as $17.96, I believe. I'm gonna check again. But I got a Rampage for about $8.96. And I got this, which I think goes for like $14.96 now. I got this for about $8.96 as well. That's not too bad. That being, of course, Hotel Transylvania 2. So, not too bad, along with, like I said, Rampage. So, pretty cool. Now, we get into basically the meat of everything. Because I utilized this opportunity to grow my 4K collection. Now, in case you guys don't know, um, well, I'm pretty sure you do know. Um, my family and I kind of had some 4K movies, or 4K movies, but the only reason we have them is they also come with a Blu-ray, and since we only have a Blu-ray in here, which I'm probably hoping by uh, before the which I'm hoping for the Christmas season to kind of upgrade to a 4K player. Um, you know, as you 
4K player. Uh, here's the thing. We do have a 4K player, but it's the Xbox One S, and it's in my room. So, just like someone like Andre Meadows of Black Nerd Comedy, I'm starting to collect the 4Ks because I can watch them on there. The biggest difference, though, is even though the screen is 1080p, the Xbox One S will tell you in the information that you're watching at 2160p. So in other words, it kind of averages out to about 1440p between the two because it is a lot cleaner, I hate to say this, than the average Blu-ray uh, disc. So what did I end up getting? Well, I ended up getting, with the slipcover, Blade Runner 2049. Got this for $9.96. Original price is about $24.96. So I got this for about $15 cheaper. So I got Blade Runner, the uh, sequel, the sequel to Blade Runner 2046, which is pretty cool. Got that. Ended up getting both Kingsman movies, Kingsman the Secret Service, Secret Service and Kingsman the Golden Circle. So I ended up getting those. I got those for about, I think $8.96, which is on average about $16 less than the original price. I ended up getting Patriot's Day with Mark Wahlberg in it. And this was about, I'd say, $8.96 as well. And I think on average it's about $9 less than its original price, which was $9 less, I should say, than its original price. So I got that. And then even though I do have this movie on Blu-ray, I decided to also get the uh, 4K, down the 4K as well, of Independence Day, which was $8.96. Six dollars less than its original price, which is fourteen ninety six, which shouldn't really surprise anybody that kind of felt the movie wasn't that good. And then, of course, we I got skyscraper, of course, with the slipcover as well, slipcover as well. And this is what I'm talking about by color coordinated, color coordinated uh, logos. This basically meant for like nine ninety six or something like that. And this actually, surprisingly, because it's one of the newer ones, still goes for about $29.96. So this is something I got for $20 less, which is pretty cool. And then, couldn't get Hotel Transylvania 2 without getting Hotel Transylvania 3. So I got that as well on 4K. So I got that on 4K. And I think I got this for about $15 less than its normal price which is pretty cool. And then of course to top it off, I got Terminator 2 on 4K. Now yes, I have two. Now yes, I do have two copies of Terminator 2 on Blu-ray. One is a steelbook edition, but this is a 4K edition of Terminator 2 um, released. And I decided to get it and basically it is like Independence Day, $6 less than its average price. Its average price goes to about $14.96 or something like that. So, just happy to finally have that. And the other advantage of getting 4K is you also get, if you're on the go, you get digital versions of these movies. So, that's pretty cool. So, anyway, that's pretty much going to do it for my belated by a week Black Friday haul. Hope you guys enjoyed watching. Really appreciate you guys watching this. Um, so let me know what you all think down below. Hopefully you take your time in watching. I'll probably put that in the description. Please take your time. I'm watching this. It's about almost 45 minutes long. So I do apologize for that. But let me know what you guys think down below. Comment if you like. Let me know what you thought about the Black Friday haul and what impressed you in my acquisitions. And I will talk to you all later. God bless. Take care. I'm going to let this battery charge.